Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on concept of incompatibility. Now, when two or more components are compounded or dispensed together, if they are not compatible with each other, that may result in undesirable effect. This is called as incompatibility. In good olden days, physician used to write all the components. The job of pharmacist is to compound them and dispense it. Then it used to be a big problem. But nowadays, we don't have such kind of thing. Physician directly give a prescription which contains all the medicaments. No compounding is there. But still knowing about in incompatibility is important because during the process of formulation, manufacturing, packaging and administration, incompatibility may affect the formulation. Now, incompatibility is of three types, physical, chemical and therapeutic incompatibility. In this video, I will explain about physical incompatibility. Now, in physical in incompatibility is because of physical appearance of the components. Two components, when they are not compatible, they affect the physical appearance. They may, there may be a change of color, there may be a change of uh, solution, it may form a precipitate kind of things. Now, this physical incompatibility is because of immiscibility, insolubility, precipitation and liquefaction. Let us understand about each and everything. Immiscibility as the word indicates when two liquid solutions are not miscible, it causes immiscibility. It affects the appearance of the solution. For example, when castor oil is dispensed along with water, oil will not combine with water and it results in immiscible solution. Now, remedy is to add an emulsifying agent like carboxymethyl cellulose, methyl cellulose, acacia. When you add emulsifying agent, the mixture will form a uniform homogeneous mixture and an emulsion is formed which will uh, increase the appearance of the solution. Now, next one is insolubility. When a solid is not soluble in a solution, it becomes insolubility. Now, chalk, zinc oxide, phenacetin, aspirin, all of them are not soluble in solutions. So, they cause this problem of insolubility. In such conditions, we need to add the remedy is adding a suspending agent or thickening agent. Example is tragacanth or mucilage of tragacanth. So, this tragacanth increases the viscosity of solution and you get a proper suspension, dispersed suspension. In certain drugs like uh, sulfur, antibiotics, corticosteroids, they do, they do not get wet with water. In such conditions, wetting agents like polysorbates and uh, saponin is required to be mixed. Now, third one is precipitation. Now, certain compounds are soluble in alcohol. When this alcohol solution is mixed with water, precipitation may occur. Example, tincture of benzoin. Benzoin is soluble in alcohol. Tincture is alcohol solution. But when you mix water, it forms a precipitate. Now, the precipitates can be of two types, dispersible and indispersible. Now, remedy is, in case of dispersible precipitates, you need to add the tincture solution and add it to water slowly with constant stirring. This removes that precipitation and the uniform solution will be there, a dispersed solution will be there. In case of indispersible precipitate, we need to add a thickening or suspending agent like tragacanth. Again, take the solutions, add the thickening agent to the tincture solution, add it to the solution with slow mixing. This avoids the problem of precipitation. Now, the last one is liquefaction. There are certain solids which low melting point solids, when they are mixed and triturated together, they form a liquid mass or converted into liquid form. This is called as liquefaction and the mixture is known as eutectic mixture. Examples are camphor, menthol, thymol and certain, certain chemicals comes with hydrated forms or water of crystallization will be there. When temperature is high or humidity is low, they release the water and causes liquefaction. Now, the remedy is adding an adsorbent like kaolin. There are two methods are there. If the already liquefaction is occurred, take the kaolin, mix with the eutectic mixture, it forms a free flowing powder. The second one is take individual components, menthol, thymol, take it, add kaolin to individual compound, mix them and then combinely triturate it. Then you will get a free flowing powder. So this is about physical incompatibility. Thank you for watching this video.